Welcome. I'm so glad everyone is here. Today, I welcome you to Making Prayer Real for Kids. Relational, experiential, applicable, and learner based I just love to hear kids pray. Let's listen to one boy's prayer. Dear God, please take care of daddy, mommy, sister, brother, my doggie, and me. Oh, please take care of yourself, God, because if anything happens to you, we'll all be in a big mess. <laughs> Prayer is as simple as talking to God, just like the little boy did in this prayer. And it's as complex as understanding that a sovereign God allows humans to express free will. Teaching children about prayer is both a privilege and an incredible challenge. Today we'll explore some creative ways to help make prayer real for kids. Let's begin with a creative prayer. You'll find a sticky note on each of your chairs. Think about something that you're thankful for and then write it on your sticky note. When you're finished, bring your sticky note to the dry erase board and place it on here. And we're going to place our sticky notes in the shape of a cross to show Jesus that we're thankful for him. And then I'll close us with a word of prayer. Now, chances are that every time we fold our hands, 
It's always with the same finger on top, the one that we're comfortable with. Mm. If we were to change the way we fold our hands, we'd have to make a conscious effort to do it differently. What do we usually ask children to do in preparation for prayer? Fold their hands. Fold their hands. Close their eyes. Close their eyes. Bow your head. Exactly. Well, one of the things that you mentioned, closing our eyes. Closing our eyes when we pray does have the benefit of reducing some visual distractions. But our omniscient, omnipresent God, who makes and understands children, certainly would not require little ones to assume a proper posture just in order to hear their prayers. In fact, the only scripture that refers to folding of our hands is in Proverbs 6.10. And it reads, you sleep a little, you take a nap. You fold your hands and lie down to rest. It doesn't make a lot of sense. God's word says to fold your hands when you take a nap. So why do we ask kids to do it when they're praying? Well, here's a great way to get kids to use their hands to help them pray. And we're going to try it. First, ask each child to hold up a hand and learn this rhyme. God gave me hands to help me pray. God gave me hands to help me pray. My fingers to show me what to say. My fingers to show me what to say. Then lead children to single out each finger and pray a specific prayer for each finger. Go ahead and do this with me. My thumb is closest to my heart. My, my thumb is, is closest to my heart. It reminds me to pray for someone close to me. It reminds me to pray for someone close to me. My family. My family. My index finger points out the things. My, My index finger points out the things I don't always see. I don't always see. Sometimes it instructs me. Sometimes it instructs me. I'll pray for my teachers. I'll pray for my teachers. My middle finger stands taller than the rest. My middle finger stands taller than the rest. It helps me remember the president. It helps me to remember the president. And my parents' boss. And my parents' boss. My ring finger is weak. My, my ring finger is weak. And can't stand alone very well. Can't and can't stand alone very well. I can pray for those who are weak and sick. I can pray for those who are weak and sick. My little finger is the smallest. My little finger is the smallest. It helps me to remember. It helps me to remember to pray for myself. To pray for myself. Awesome job, everyone. Thank you so much. And as you continue in this day, help children learn how to pray. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Amen. <laughs> Did you see that one?